Good job. Thank you. How did it feel? Uh, it was fun. I was a bit nervous because there's no audience, but no. <laughs> <laughs> but they're well. on the other side of the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's it's weird performing like this. Yeah. <laughs> but it was fun. It was fun. Is it maybe more like rec doing a music video almost? <sighs> yeah, kind of. Yeah. I but don't know. More, I've more never of like a <laughs> like a sound check, a full sound check. Oh, it's more like a sound check. You you did amazing, anyways. Thank you. So you two have an up and coming album together. Yes. How did you two meet? Uh, it's a fun thing. Um, I was just home one Saturday and I got a like a DM. He DM'd Ooh, me on slide Instagram. Into the DM. <laughs> he slided into. It was, <laughs> he slided. <laughs> it was a friendly slide. <laughs> it was a friendly slide. Are there uh, such things? Okay. But it, it really was. And <laughs> then understand. he said, like, I have studio time and my artist didn't came, so you you can come and just like try a session. And I was like, oh. I said to my fiance, like, oh, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. And he was like, bitch, you better go. Because I paid the rent. You better go. And I was like, fuck. Oh, sorry. Is that? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's 2020. Okay, we can cool. curse, right? But then, then <laughs> I, I went to see him and we did Bam Bam, the first thing we did. And it turned out amazing. So and you had a musical connection. Yeah, right like away. we're best friends now. So. Right from the start. <laughs> it was crazy. It, it was uh, like she said, I mean, we did Bam Bam the first day we met. It hit a mil over a million streams in six months, just us two putting it out. So then we were like, Yo, let's just do a whole album or EP. We did the yeah, EP did, like, last year, and then we're like, all right, let's do an album. Yeah. So, yeah. so now we have like a 15, 15 s like songs in the album. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So. Um, so you also have good songwriting chemistry. That's yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, she handles all the songwriting, and I do all the production, and it's like just. It just works. You know? yeah, yeah, amazing. It's really easy, like an easy process. What we is the album called? Secret. Yeah, it's a secret. Okay. Yeah. No, but it's so like. So you're it's fighting. It's I get, understand. No, no. <laughs> we, we, the the name is done, but we just like. Okay. You want to wait? It's fine. When it's when is it coming out? June. Around June. Yeah. Okay. June. Amazing. And Angie, you've been called th li things like the most shocking pop star of 2016. Yeah. Print that, that on a t-shirt. <laughs> How is it to be called like provocative or controversial or shocking? Like I'm so sick and tired of that. Really? Yeah, because I don't really feel like I'm more controversial or provocative than any other artist uh, in the industry. So I don't know, smoke with it pussy, fine. But I just don't think I'm that controversial. No. But maybe I am. Maybe I'm just... So it's not like a something you've been through out your life like really uh, what do you mean like outspoken and provocative yeah but i'm i'm outspoken but i don't really no. see that yeah as that's a, a good thing, thing. <laughs> but i don't know maybe i am provocative but that's just, cool like there's just 2016 when i got out with like when smoke weed it pussy came out it was just the only thing people described me as a controversial provocative artist and i don't feel my like i don't want to be title just a provocative or a controversial artist i want to be called like an artsy and cool and amazing and yeah. brilliant and unique you <laughs> know but i just don't want to be course. just controversial because i don't feel like i'm that's my like full whole no of course how would you descri describe her and and this is and from like face value from me not knowing her me just dming her like last year i did think like oh smoke we eat pussy and i kind of put that on her and no. that's what I thought the type of artist she was until I met her and I realized like like she said I mean she's an artist like from multi facets of genres like all ranges like an artist someone who can be meek like a dove and then like show you sides of like very like raw you know this is me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's what an artist should be fully expressing themselves and that's that's ex exactly what she is from knowing what she wants on her videos I learned that you know the hard <laughs> and good way Learning what she wants, <laughs> like she knows what she wants for photos. She knows how songs should be. She knows her whole aesthetic. Like that's an artist. So that's, oh, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Hey man, you, that's what you are. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're also amazing in every way. Shall <laughs> yeah. uh, So how's the um, response from your fans? I believe, I hear you have fans all over the world, and your music videos are really successful as well. <laughs> 
Yeah, like I, I love my fans. I think I have the best fans in the world. <laughs> I think they're really amazing and really supportive, and I'm really happy that they even like me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm super happy with the response from my fans. I'm just, I'm just like super eager to show them this album because I'm so happy with the album. And so. how has this crisis like affected you? Oh, as the an yeah, the crisis, yeah. Um, I feel really sad all the time, <laughs> and I'm yeah, worried. Yeah, everything's so weird, right? Yeah, I feel sad all the time, and I'm, I'm just thinking about like all the people that suffers from it, and just like.